And the president of Arme Armored Vehicles is in federal court in Danville today as jury selection gets underway for his trial. Back in 2012, the U.S. Attorney's Office filed three charges of major fraud and seven counts of wire fraud, as well as three counts of false claims against the armored vehicle company and its president, William White. As we've reported, the government contracted the company, which has an office in Danville, to make 32 armored vehicles to be used in Iraq. The government says most of the vehicles that they had already paid for in advance were never made, and those that were built were faulty. Jury selection is expected to last several days before the trial gets underway later this week.